Gentlemen, seeing unofficially is administered either subcutaneously or intramuscular to day or cheeks to prevent bacteria induced early mortality. It is also administered along with vaccines for the prevention of bacteria contamination. On this video, I will explain why most farmers give this at day old. Also, the implication of administering such medication at day old. In all, I will discuss the pros and cons of this medication in this video. Be patient and do not skip this video because every second of this video is very important. For your information, and this is a disclaimer, on no account should you administer this medication on your own without the help of a veterinary doctor, as these consequences could cost you a lot. What's up my people and welcome to my YouTube channel where we discuss farming in details how you grow your farm, challenges faced by farmers and how to control them. So ensure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get regular updates whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment and most importantly share for others to benefit. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. Firstly, there are a lot of key points in this video that I will advise you to follow. And secondly, I will explain what you will see instantly if you administer this gentamicin to your day old chicks upon arrival. You see, gentamicin solution is a broad spectrum antibiotics and this is the leading veterinary antibacterial recommendation for the treatment of infectious disease caused by either gram positive and gram negative bacteria which are susceptible to gentamicin such as the respiratory tract infections, gastrointestinal infections, urogenital tract infections, skin and wound infections, septicemia and arthritis, and many others. Of a truth, antibiotics have continued to be used widely in the poultry industry, most especially in developing countries. In Nigeria, for instance, broad spectrum antibiotics are usually given to day old chicks during the first five to seven days of their lives as a way of combating infections that are suspected to be either from the hatchery born or already established in the brooding house. Now, this gentamicin is a broad spectrum aminoglycoside antibiotics which has been widely used in the treatment of gram negative organisms and some gram positive organisms too. Mark my word, some gram positive organisms, not all. In contrast with most other currently used antibiotics, gentamicin exerts pronounced bactericidal activity against lots of multi-resistance gram-negative pathogens such as the E. coli, the Salmonella species, the Klebicella species, Proteus species and Pseudomonas species. But because of the long retention of gentamicin in tissues, its use is contradicted in poultry intended for human consumption. For this reason, it is not advisable to use it for broilers, but can be used for pullet chicks and turkey poles to control the early brooding mortality. One key point of this is that by the time the day old pullet chicks gets to 6 to 8 weeks of age, its retention in tissue must have elapsed. This is usually called the withdrawal period, so that is why it is it can be used for pullet chicks. You know broilers usually get to maturity between 5 to 8 weeks, so it's not really ideal. This gentamicin is rapidly and well absorbed from intramuscular and subcutaneous routes of administration. Another key point to note is that this drug is nephrotoxic. That means it is toxic to the kidneys at high doses. And while the bed is receiving this drug, they need to be kept well hydrated. That means you have to provide them with drinking water. Now, let me talk about the pros and cons of using this gentamicin injection for your day old beds. But first, kindly subscribe and click the bell icon if you haven't. And to get updated whenever I upload any video like this one. Don't hesitate to give this video a like comment and share for others to benefit thanks as you all know the good always come first so let's talk about the pros now the first pros or advantages of injecting gentamicin to your day old chicks 
bet is that it will reduce the early chicks mortality especially during brooding to almost zero percent like if you carry 10,000 beds and you eject them with gent as it is popularly called you are sure of less than two percent mortality during brooding or even zero percent mortality secondly it reduces the continuous use of antibiotics for the period of five to seven days during brooding the third advantage is that diseases that usually accompany the chicks from hatchery are eliminated also it provides better immunity to chicks at a very early age and fourthly certain stubborn diseases such as crod and gastrointestinal infection are reduced drastically the fifth key point is that once you give your day o chick gent injection, it increases their rate of water consumption, so ensure to provide them with enough water to drink. Remember, I said I will tell you what you will experience from your chicks if you give them this gent injection, so that when you see the signs, you won't have to panic. But let me talk about the disadvantages of injecting your day o chicks with gent. Firstly, is that it could lead to drug resistance. In this case, use of mild or lesser antibiotics might not be effective in cases of certain disease outbreak, so you will have to look for a stronger antibiotics to use. Secondly, and this happens if you overdose your chicks, the birds will be depressed and less interested in feed during the first two weeks. Later on, these signs will decrease. Also, loose feces will be observed in the birds and this can leads to you losing a high percentage of your beds. That is why you have to consult your vet or professional for assistance. Now, let me tell you what you will expect if you inject your day old chicks with gent upon arrival at the brooder house. But first, help me to grow my channel and reach a larger audience by subscribing if you haven't. And if you have done it, then a big thanks to you. Now, all you have to do is to click the bell icon so as to get regular updates whenever I upload a new video. Give this video a like, comment and share for others to benefit. Thanks. Now, what you will experience immediately you give this medication is that the bears will be active and interested in feed and water and even the surroundings. Then, the feces of these bears which have been injected at day old will be kind of semi-solid and dark green. You will also notice a kind of whitish patch in some feces too. That whitish patch will be and may not be in some. Please consult your vet for administration and lastly you can use the end screen showing right now to watch other educative videos. Thanks and God bless. See you in my next video. Peace out.